arguably the most AOE possible in Dota 2. And in addition, it's one of two hero secrets played more than 10 times this year that they have over 90% win. And I know Liquid's picked it up, but my point is simply that Secret have abused heroes like Lesh, like Enigma, this early tower pressure throughout the entire year, the winningest team thus far in this circuit. And I think Liquid now have this excellent team fight composition, and they're gonna be able to push the tempo Perhaps Roche into Rax in like 20 minutes if they get ahead. So Seeker picked uh, OD, which is kind of not the like steroid type of mid people pick with the Karyos. They were picking Gyro, Windrunner. I think Pro Warlord was ran by OG as well. They pick these heroes that usually attack fast, right? Or attack multiple targets. So at the Wisp, if they go late game, the Wisp is also going to be a threat. So this is a little more old school, I think. The Omni OD is like a you know, yeah. year or two old. Second. It's a throwback for sure. Yeah. Back when it was Magic Community, right? On Rapel? Yeah. Do you think this signals that they might not run Io as a carry? I don't think they can like can run it as a support right now. They have no stuns besides like casket. <laughs> and if there's like BKBs going, exactly. this uh, OD is gonna do nothing. Yep. And so they need this like support that either has some short cooldown on stuns. Maybe they can even run like a line four yep. or something along these lines. And I don't usually see secret. like they're the team that popularized Enigma. Like, Yapsor is 28 and 2. They could the team is 28 and 2 on the year. And you look at this, you have nothing against BKBs. Absolutely nothing. So their last pick is going to have to be able to, I assume, do some kind of physical damage. Otherwise, yep. like is really Wisp OD is your 1 and 2? That's very ambitious. Like the Wisp can turn into like physical at once 25. Mm -hmm. But before 25, you're yep. mostly about balls. So you're yep. ags tethering to a core with your heart so he can hit high ground but what core do you tether yeah and look at liquid's lineup that that's not a draft that's looking to go to 45 minutes mm -hmm. they're going to be probably peaking in terms of like the lineup's gold uh, efficiency okay. usage around 20 and a shaker off lane mid support Carry. Yap source hero perhaps maybe one played a mid the other day against the yeah. miracles also played a carry for liquid so Secret kind of taking, you know, they're looking at other people's notebooks. They took the Wisp from OG. They could take the carry or shaker from Liquid. This is their counter pusher, right? That's one thing that yeah. Secret's lineup is super missing, actually. Yeah, it's true. And I, I feel like it, I'm leaning towards it's a Yaps or shaker because they've been wanting to last. Ooh. Oh, jeez. So way? at uh, the last major, I think uh, Liquid picked this versus LGD, the Meepo versus OD matchup. And the yeah. matchup, I think, was hard for the OD, but the Meepo crushed him after 15 minutes. Yep. He and can Astro one, and then he just goes down. Liquid have won every game in this lower bracket with these weird last picks. This is another one, and it's a weak comfort pick. Like, I love this draft. It's Secret's got an uphill battle. Well, right before we throw to the casters, let's toss it over to Nahaz for the last word. So much of this series is going to be defined by a matchup between two dynamic core position players. Miracle and Nisha already staking their claim statistically as two of the best players ever in land competition. Kills per minute, Miracle 9.4. That is almost a full kill over any other player out of the 244 players with 100 plus appearances all time. These two players join Ramses as the only other in the top five in career GPM and experience per minute and win rate, both of them in the top 10. Nisha in only his first year with Secret. Hero wise, we got that core aisle potentially in the hands of Secret, undefeated here in the main event, but Liquid counter with Meepo. We 26 career wins on Meepo, most in pro Dota 2 all time. We got one hell of a match coming up to you. Who better to bring it to you? Back in NA, they're the pride of the Pacific Northwest, but they're spitting straight fire on the stage in Shanghai. Here are Lyrical and Trent. Thank you so much, Nahaz. And yes, Trent, a legendary matchup we got coming up right now. Liquid, Secret, tail as old as time. How you feeling, my man? Uh, absolutely fantastic. We're here. I like what Kyle said. Liquid, they haven't dropped a game mm. through the lower bracket. The same story as the previous year. Something about the upper bracket is for people in britches, I think he said. Miracle. <laughs> it was something along those lines. Either way, they're here again. And this time, they're taking on Team Secret. Amazing stuff. Yeah, I think that a lot of people, again, you might forget that Liquid was the TI7 winners with all the emphasis that was given over to LGD and OG last year. These guys came in fourth, you know, they put on a very solid performance, but now needing to make it happen yet again for themselves. And of course, Secret finally able to, able to overcome that hurdle of not making it past the fifth, six spots. Both teams, a lot to prove. They got to do it here on the big stage in Shanghai. Yeah, they found themselves into a matchup versus this 
uh, newly rejuvenated Liquid. And uh, it features our friend, Mr. Weeha, and uh, the hero that first <laughs> made him famous, right? Yeah. The, the Meepo. And perhaps infamous, however you want to put it, but uh, Weeha showed up on the map because of this lovely group of heroes. And uh, you, you banned his TA. I'm sure he's been playing that a lot, but uh, the Meepo is where his heart truly resides. And I mean, this is really a good Meepo game. You look at this lineup, and Earthshaker always something they get a little bit concerned about, but there are a lot of heroes that are around to protect them. We'll have to wait and see, as already a little bit of a battle looking for these bounty rooms. Puffy throws out the cask and able to steal away that bounty. So three go in the way of secret early on as Mind Control still taking a lot of damage there. Uh, but we'll be able to pick up the bounty rune and then solve it afterwards. Yeah, that's Earthshaker. It's, it's kind of like that classic, like, new counter almost of, like, versus the Broodmother, where you're like, oh, I'm going to Echo Slam all these spiders. Surely oh. this will be good. That cast did not bounce. And Puppy now in some trouble as the punch down comes from Curl. Very fire the heal back up, eats his way through the trees, and that's enough to get the captain away. Ooh, keeping it nice and easy peasy there from Nish on that core aisle. As, uh, yeah, this match, we heard Gunner talking about it as well, where uh, into that mid and late game, that's where this Meepo versus the, uh, the Odie's really going to shine. Meepo, of course, a hero that loves to build just stats all around, and uh, doesn't really fall too hard uh, prey to the Sanities, unless mid one gets, like, super farmed, right? Yeah, that is definitely a problem. Mid one starts to build a lead. This hero is so good at snowballing. Lane we haven't really talked about as of yet is Miracle and GH down bottom that Earth Spirit and Leshrac trying to stand up against the Omni Knight. Weeha again gonna take some of those pot shots. Um, but yeah, kind of an interesting little roll in as we see Zai just gonna waltz away. Yeah, the same thing mid lane, they're threatening with Yaps over here. Weeha getting pretty low. Just waiting to see if they can find that one moment. The, the Astral was just coming up here. Need the block off. Opening. They have the setup for this perfectly with the banishment running out. It's going to be the walk over from Yapsor and first blood drawn by the Earthshaker. As is tradition for Yapsor, he will take the most gold possible at the very beginning of the game. And that, that's fully completed uh, tranquils, I believe, for him right now, actually. Already this early, not opting for those earlier uh, soul ring builds. Okay. We'll have to watch and wait and see how that goes for him, but obviously in this uh, top lane as well, Nisha and the Witch Doctor just going to try and lay out whatever damage they can, but there is a wraparound that's coming up top as well, as we do see Yapsor move over into position to try and save Puppy, who again was just taking a beating. Puppy's just like, can I please just get to level two? I can get this double <laughs> heal action going on where you can really abuse some mechanics. But uh, he's struggling to get there. Just one more creep. Oh, okay. Light, life's good now. Yeah, and we'll have a pause just to consider exactly. Of course, we've got some sort of a technical issue that they'll work on. But uh, yeah, Secret keeping the, uh, the cards close to their chest throughout that draft, right? Uh, some, some questions of exactly what was going to happen with this aisle. As they started picking through their heroes, you weren't exactly sure where he was going to wind up. Is he going to be the core? Is he going to be the support? It was kind of sketchy throughout it. But then with that final pick in the Earth Shaker, they did fully confirm uh, that it would be this core IO once again. And you heard Sunbi say after their first game earlier today while they were playing it, he just said, uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, Nisha. He can play it, so we play it. Totally. <laughs> very, very firm response. I mean, that's the thing, right? Is like, it sometimes just comes down to that. The player feeling confident on a particular hero saying, I can do this, I can win for my team, understanding the matchup and making it happen. Uh, you can see already 79% win rate here at this tournament for the IO. That is absolutely insane. I own Alchemist. Whew. I, uh, I don't know. I'm, I look forward to seeing if someone can defeat it because for me, the, this core IO has just looked ridiculous. As far as I know, the core IO hasn't lost. It's yeah. only been support IO that's taken the, uh, the nose dives there, mostly with like IO Gyro and stuff, who isn't quite the same matchup it used to be. No, definitely not. And I think a lot of that comes down to the change of Aghanim Scepter talent. But, you know, these core players are saying, all right, let's just pick up that Aghanim Scepter, get ourselves farming away like crazy, and then eventually we're going to be able to take over this game. Uh, oftentimes, though, that does sort of go hand in hand with a lot of other heal, which is why you're seeing that Witch Doctor get taken here for the Voodoo Restoration later on, as well as the Omni Knight uh, having some more spam out there of the heals and status resistance and all that other good stuff. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, we talked a lot about Secret Strap, but uh, on the side of Liquid, too, I feel like I haven't seen GH play Earth Sphere in a, in a while. He was picking up at Epicenter, but at least I haven't caught any of his games here where he's been on the hero. But this is one of uh, one of his big ones, right? This is like his top three. I think he's even played it more than his Keeper of the Light, which is one of those like most iconic ones that you even think about when it comes to GH. So uh, the man's got a mean green machine, and currently after Zai there, whoo, the blocks. Seeing if they can get the rundown, but it's not quite going to happen. They have the split earth afterwards if they manage to hit it, but Zai... Just gets on his little tippy toes and walks away. Be no problem. And uh, yeah, those tranquils do indeed get delivered to Yapsor in the mid lane. So, gonna use that newfound speed to rotate around here. Now, Weeha comes in with his other Meepo and able to try and scare some of those last hits. But so far, mid one 13 and 6. Just giving him the business here in the mid lane. And Arcane Orb trade off there as Yapsor moves into position. Oh. They off Zai elsewhere. Yeah, we were watching mid, of course, because you can see they're obviously going for that gank. But it looks like Zai goes down after salving back up. Had only used one more tango, so I hadn't quite gotten back up the full HP there. And Miracle finds the kill with GH. I mean, Weeha definitely knows that Yapsor is over here. He has not shown back up one of the other lanes. And can't anticipate that this movement is over from the Earth Shaker, but mid one not wanting to go. Fear of reprisal. And Io up top. Yeah, got kind of quite a bit of harass on him, but in the end, you uh, you have to get that like perfect chain stun lockdown happening there. As long as you know he has the tether up, there's not a whole lot you can do. Absolutely. And up that ring of Silius as well as Yaps are again going to make this move up here towards the north. The pull gets off. And Yaps are trying to make things happen. Was able to get that early kill. But now kind of just regulated to running around with Tranquils trying to make stuff happen. Yeah, he's going to check the rune. Uh, GH rolled all the way home. And so he's now going to TP back down to the bottom shrine and then roll to check the bottom rune. And the 50-50 coin flip goes the way of Yapsor. Secures a haste rune in the top and immediately starts rushing his way there. Pretty fearsome trio. He wants to try and find something. It'd be nice for him. Already getting the spirits rolling. But he's heading back towards mid again. So yeah. It looks like he's trying to find Kuro. Right? He's checking inside that Radiant Jungle. He's like, are there stacks in here? What are they doing? But Kuro, well, he's in the Dire Jungle. And he is actually spotted by an Observer Ward. So they do know that he's up here. Picking up some of that experience. Pearl already level three on the Chen. Off to a hot start, has that headdress as well. So he is pretty farmed. And right now it's mainly just Yapsor that's sitting bottom of the pack in terms of levels. Just level one still. And you're gonna have mid one takeover in terms of the net worth. I know the last hits are back and forth, but you got yourself a Meepo who's uh, in the jungle, right? So as much as we see the last hits being close, you know that you're getting more when you're uh, getting those lane creeps as long as the numbers are even. The problem is soon the numbers unlikely to be even, right? Uh, great denies there for mid one to try and slow down the XP gain of the Meepo, which is always important, but it's uh, it's Meepo time. He's already stacking camps right now in that jungle. And that's why you see the trade off there of three bounty runes. Uh, over as well for just the one um, of Secret. More emphasis on the lanes, it feels like, for Team Secret. Well, Liquid taking advantage of the other resources around the map. And Mind Control level four, the first wave of catapults coming in, and Chen in the area. They feel like they could get a little he's, bit aggro. He's putting a message down. <laughs> Observer Ward, <laughs> we're going to be busy up here. Uh, yeah. That's what that says. In the meantime, though, just tethered up with Puppy. They're not really that afraid, and the overcharge comes out. Meanwhile, the cast bounce hits onto a creep. Very long timer on the stun for that one. And again, relatively so sorry. Does he feel like you need to get a lot done with the Chen early on at this point in time? Uh, I would say it's almost like uh, the three heroes almost feel the pressure of the Earth Shaker, the, the Earth Spirit, as well as the Chen, right? Which Doctor, sitting in lane, feels good. That's right. what you do. Keep my carry going. But these other heroes, like, you, you almost, you feel like you have this potential, you yeah. know? So when I'm not making these big plays, I, I get a little bit dismayed. I don't know if they are right now, but uh, they understand their game plan right there. Most likely playing for that 10 minute mark where we have the double tome come out. There's not as many concerns as there used to be for getting that XP with a double tome for supports like this. So uh, probably just gonna be a little bit of a slow one here as Meepo, at least because of that, is gonna get a lot of space to farm in the jungle. And you did see no boots built for Weeha going for the quad Wraith fans, picking up one of those couriers since they did have the ward spotting out the direction of their jungle. And still only 200 gold behind the OD after this laning stage. Yep.
So what I do like about the Shaker versus the Meepo in this sort of a matchup though will be if he can just get a Fisher block onto the Meepo and just give like a little bit of space to the OD, that Sandy's is still gonna be big, right? Okay. We talk about like Meepo so does buy a bunch of stats, sure, but he mostly buys that, you know. <laughs> Maybe the Scythe and Savvy get a couple, a little bit of int here and there, but you know, you're stacking quad rate bands right now, so there is a chance that mid one gets those big items that he can still blow them up. But the problem is if Meepo gets the initiation, that's me bad news bears yeah particularly around like that hex time or whatever and we has completely been obstructed so far it feels like mind control is still sitting back can hold on to this lane keep it under pressure and make sure that they don't get too much onto the tower as Kuro in a little bit of trouble with the Maledict down, the Paralyzing Cask as well. Chase comes, but the heal could Fissure to interrupt as they still try and run him down, but they pulled in Miracle, and that's going to be enough to find the kill on the Puppy, though Kuro will fall. Both captains go down. Yeah, good Fisher there to uh, cause the balls to just kind of like stack up like that, right? It was like bam, bam, bam. Yeah. Tapped it onto a couple of them there with the help of the Maledict. Another nice part of that Chen, of course, is the ability to pull in heroes. And well, Puppy, you came to the wrong neighborhood, mister. Is Guys, uh, just gonna run at him. They might have a ward. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing it out there. It was nighttime, so I think he thought he was safe from the creep vision. And uh, instantly punished there. So that's gonna be some tower pressure. And they do have BSJ's boy in the dead lane. It's the tide. I mean, you plant this guy there. Most dangerous part of the map. That's where teams maybe like to rotate down, trade that tower. Tide, he's gonna be okay. Yeah. He can set up for the counter rotation because you're using that Chen, like you pointed out, to bring a hero in. What does that mean? That hero still has a teleportation scroll. So you try and go on this Tide Hunter, he gets that Kraken off, and suddenly, release the Kraken. <laughs> Y'all get comboed by his allies CP and in. <laughs> Release the Kraken indeed. Ravage, obviously a terrifying ability. These early goings. Kuro can do that pull in if they need to, if they want to defend that tier one tower. But for now at least, Liquid just going for a little bit of an evade into jungles. They find Nisha coming back in. Always oh, slippery. With that relocate and now the chase down coming from Zai as they look to try and follow this one. Paralyzing cast. Only gonna connect on the miracle, but that might be a nudge because well the rest of Secret is here. Yeah. And they kill him off. Close. Close to find that kill on the Nisha. Just uh, not able and he like tried to next level the play i think with the split earth and he just went like right towards the last rack thinking hopefully he doesn't stomp his own feet so they instantly de the observer that was there to try and keep an eye on nisha farming because they know how the strategy works i've seen several teams do it he just wants to be in this little triangle or well i guess it's quad uh, of course we usually think of the triangle down here right. this can be a uh, rhombus or something i don't know i need some geometry classes but either way well, that's where fun. he's gonna be Trapezoid. I think it's a trapezoid. I'm going to go so with that. Good. You're so good at math. Thank you. I'm a geography, which is very close to sounding like geology. Wait, what? <laughs> That's not it. the right one either. It's beautiful. Geometry. I knew I had it. <laughs> so uh, three to three so far. It is kind of an interesting little dynamic too, using that relocate to be able to get back to base, pick up some more items. Um, of course, now Nisha having that completed Helm of the Dominator. He's just going to start running around <laughs> and finding GH. Pearl Boulder not going to quite get there in time to interrupt. But it will still punch. What a strat. Anna, what have you done? I mean, this mud golem is just hoofing it. Look at him go. He's a monster. Terrifying, terrifying. It, it kind of looks like Slacks when he's late to a segment. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's pretty much how he runs around the arena. You're not wrong. Oh, God. Well, already the Kaya completed now for the OD. Miracle in the mid lane trying to push this one out another time. And again, you look at this lineup wanting to make stuff happen early. You've got the four points up in Diabolkita. You've got the Chen creeps there to help soak up damage as they are going to rotate now. Yeah. Move Zai into the area, and that kind of puts the kibosh on the pressure. Well, I feel like Zai's been playing down there for a long time, too, at mid one, right? Where they were maybe hoping to force this tower to find anything up top. Now, Puppy forces the to toss of the Maledict. A little bit of a net moving in. They will finally collapse there onto the Witch Doctor, who will just get dropped. Weeha finding the final touch. And they're still pressuring mid. I mean, they're grabbing a kill off top, but it's not necessarily slowing down the rest of Liquid. They are keeping that Edict pressure on. They say, bring all of your heroes or we're not stopping. Moving in for it. Do they get the deny? At the very least, they will. Omni Knight Zai makes it happen. Now the Magnetize on his oh, Move the Heavenly Grace, but mid one just drops. They find the kill, and now Zai trying to turn this one back around. Miracle is still living with a decent mana pool. Echo still connecting, but it's not enough damage. Look at Weeha lives through it. They roll through again, and Liquid making it happen. They take down Yapsor as well, possibly running through the trees. Trying to run away. They know he's in there. And the net's eventually going to find the kill. 
So GH winds up with the double kill as he takes Zion. Yapsor Kuro gets the kill onto mid one. And uh, Weehaw takes the kill onto Poppy. So Seeker dropping all over the map. And they, you know, not even just tier one tower damage. They're gonna take some damage onto tier two. I mean, this is- uh, Hello? Uh, Anybody? This damage coming out from Meepo at this stage of the game. They just use Echo Slam. This is 11 minutes now as they pressure onto this tier two tower. I mean, my control's still sitting here with Ravage. Haven't had to use it. They yeah. know there's no sanities than that. This Side's is looking like there. some Alchemist Dota. It is a monster. They just take that tower back out afterwards. Oh, pressure on Yapsor, I think, this game to try and get that blink. I mean, the blink's not an end-all, be-all sort of an item here, of course, versus the Meepo. You still need a lot of follow-up damage, but he is racing towards it already up to 1,250 gold. I mean, in a way, it just feels like the bigger thing he needs, too, is just levels. Like, getting up to that level two Echo, if at all possible, which is obviously a far way away. He's the lowest level in the game, though. You just don't have the control or the damage to deal with it. And another tower taken. I feel like I see a bunch of Liquid gather around a tower, and it falls, and then instantly they're just somewhere else. Yeah. All right, this Chen, he still has Divine Favor ready for any of these Meepos if he needs it. GH is actually going to TP top to try and support Weehaw, but he doesn't even need it. He just solo killed Nisha. Dude, this is... That's that's a lot of gold. This is disgusting. <laughs> it's just running it over and over. And again, this is before that first big item comes from Weah. When he gets the E-Blade, the amount of damage that you pick up on it is absurd. I am definitely a big fan of the uh, position one flesh track, something that China's been doing quite a bit over the past couple months, right? They love to flex this hero across all the roles and all the lanes. I mean, this guy, probably the only true hero I feel like that can be played one to five right now. Mm. And it feels good to me. It's just the ability to pressure like this and just take down towers with such ease gives you so much strength into that mid game if you can keep it. Fissure for what? As Liquid take a 5,000 gold lead at 13 and a half minutes. They have not taken their foot off the pedal and Secret have not come up with an answer. Well, now the question becomes, where do you go from here? Possibly up towards that tier one tower, I guess, invade the jungle. Do you need to set up Ferocious early? All right, well, we're, we're <laughs> what the hell do you do? Now, Secret, they, they know. They've seen the Io, right? Okay. We, we've had games exactly like this. The first games that the carry Io came out, I heard Grant and Kyle and BSJ, and they're just like, guys, they're really losing with this core Io. When is, well, how does this thing work? And, uh, well, eventually it kicked into place, right? Things get the level 15 talent. Once you have the Aghanim Scepter, those are massive tools to actually get some damage out from this hero. So, Secret, they're trying to get there as fast as they can. Taking away this space is super important because uh, knocking down towers makes it harder for Nisha to farm, so that's currently why he's so far down on the net worth chart. This is so important right here as well. Yeah, Moving I, in and taking the first Roshan. There's no way they're getting in on this one. I mean, the Meepo being able to pick up this Aegis is just so key. And actually, Puppy might just die. He's getting hit by an illusion. You can poof onto those afterwards. Is Puppy going to get controlled up for the moment as GH still has him in his sights and they're going to be able to poof in afterwards if they want. Yeah. As Roche already goes down, Weeha finds Puppy. And now in Aegis, an E-Blade, Weeha is doing whatever he damn pleases. All right, so E-Blade, this game, what do we have? Yapsor, oh, he's still 400 gold away-ish from that Blink Dagger, so Planet Fall, gonna have to figure it out pretty soon here. They wanna stay in this one. Mid one's BKB, gonna be a good tool to try and actually fight into these engagements. He's still gonna be backed up by Zai there on the Omni. He's trying to split push, get away from this, but you can see, I mean, I think 37% is a little generous considering like the pace at which Liquid are going, but that's basically the idea of respecting the, the high ground, right? It is, yeah. it is hard to go high ground versus some of these heroes. I mean, uh, but mostly it's just hard to uh, not give away big streaks as Zai. I mean, I mean, look at this damage that comes out. He's just gonna get rooted afterwards. They have the E-Blade there. Can continuing to control this Omni as he tries to hide away and well, I don't think that this juke is eventually going to work as they find Zai and kill him off. I mean right now the Meepo has 150 damage base. That's more than any of the heroes on Secret and he's got a bunch of them. <laughs> he's got more than a few Trent. Yeah he's got a whole crew. Oh, oh the whole crew also gonna run in the mid one here. Who it's oh not that god big. not again mid one trying to run mind control he can chase down with the ravage if he wants to he knows there's no astral mid one in a pickle as they run him down ravage gonna be used split earth afterwards this is destruction i am a fan of that ravage don't give him any opportunity for some big sanities on you because you got 27 in right now no thanks 
finish it off, set up the split earth easy, take us high ground, and you know that guy's going for a BKB. He just bought it. Dude, they are owning and taking down the tier three tower. Nisha just hoping to try and hold off, if at all possible, still 500 gold away from that Aghanim Scepter on the IO as Liquid hit their timing just that much harder. Wow, I can't wait secret. to see how strong IO Aghanim's is because if it can bring <laughs> you back from this, it is truly busted. And they're trying, they're hoping. They're waiting. Creeps are coming in in just a moment, and Weeha still holding on, not at all afraid. I mean, Nisha is relocating the farm waves. Okay, the Fissure already thrown out. They used Death Ward, but there's nothing there for the follow-up. Astro used as well. Now, he one in a lot of trouble. Is there healing back up from the Ransack? Not doing enough damage. Is it quite enough? They can't even kill him up once. Hand of God comes out. Secret is getting completely run all right, over here. balls are online. Are you kidding me? Possibly, they, they need it. They need it right now more than anything. The roll through as well. Side, they try to take down the eye. He is gonna pop. But in the meantime, secret now. Can you kill him a second time? Round two, ding, ding, ding. And secret, not ready for the fight. He's trying to drive them back, but indeed they will have to just give up that mid lane of Rax. Zai gets the deny at least. Some small small oh, liquid? Oh, okay. I like this. They, they want to test it themselves, I think. All right. How good is this thing? You know, what can Isha really do here? They don't have rabbits. They do have the pipe, though, on my exactly. goal. And I believe, as you saw earlier in the, the IO game, it was about 90% of the damage from Nisha was magical. It's a scary moment. They're scouting with that helm creep. And again, how often have we seen teams fall to the high ground push? Well, they didn't fall that time. That's for sure. Up. But there will be some more high ground pushes out here from Liquid. And I think that's why you see Liquid pull back there. You know, wait for your next round of items to come online. They've already got a 10,000 gold lead. They've got the Aegis a while ago. They're ready to go again. Yeah, next big items will be the BKB for Miracle, so he can try and play up in the fights alongside uh, Weeha, who is going for that Scotty to give him some more balanced stats here. Uh-oh. Mr. Zai, they don't quite catch him, but Weeha now spots him out, and the Root's gonna be there. Zai is also going to be in trouble as they will just beat him down into the ground. Team Secret just getting rolled on by GH and Liquid as a whole. They came to play today. Oh, they did indeed. Is Nisha still just struggling? I mean, he's the he's the big thing, right? You oh, just yeah. want to see can he get to 15? Can he add that uh, additional spirits damage there? It's gonna be a grind, but it does feel like this possibly could be the answer for the IO draft. <laughs> oh, just play meepos. <laughs> just get harder. <laughs> play play faster is certainly. Uh, I think that's what we saw tried earlier today too, right? Yeah. Well, actually, that's not true. I thought they were going to try and play faster, and then they last picked a Medusa. So uh, that that was not what was attempted by BG Gaming. Liquid kind of flipping that last pick here with the Meepo instead, and indeed playing very fast. I mean, they kind of telegraphed it even with the Leshrac and the Chen, right? If you, kn you knew what was coming here. No, no surprises for Team Secret. Well, right now, Io about 800 experience away from getting that level 15 talent, and he is going to TP back now to try and help. There's a tome in the base. I think ground. it's his. Yeah, that's what that's going to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Puppy. Oh, puppy even buys for him. Wow. The support life, I tell you, in a pro game is really rough. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? In this game, very emblematic of things being rough. Well, well, I mean, does, does it really even make that much of a difference I, I right don't now? know. I want to say no, but yeah. I don't want to doubt this thing anymore. Been burned one too many times <laughs> no. by the core IO. I mean, it's a Scotty Dunn on Weeha right now. He is so far ahead. Another 5,000 gold item above the next core on Team Secret. There's just really big timings coming up, right? The BKB, the next Aegis, all of that should be coming together for Liquid. I don't think anything in that same window will be as powerful for Secret now that the IO has already reached level 15. Right. So if you're Liquid, you just hold out, control the plateau, keep both those mid and top lanes going in your favor, control Secret, use the, the lanes for information, as well as these great wards, by the way, that are just outside the, uh, the Secret base, right? It is spotting exactly what they're trying to do. They know when they're going up to uh, up top of the farm. You can see they're trying to de-ward right now from Secret. Maybe wondering exactly how Liquid know what they're doing. Yeah. I mean, you need to just try and re-establish map vision, if at all possible. But so tough to make happen oh, against man. this lineup.
And uh, yeah, Miracle nearly into that BKB. Mind control now with the blink dagger there too on that Tidehunter. And even GH has almost completed his BKB. Yeah, this is terrifying. They, they have it on the OD, like they're talking about, but it doesn't feel like it's really gonna be enough at this point. They need the Sanity's Eclipse to be huge. Yapsor is getting closer to that level 12, which again could make a bit of a difference, but that's predicated upon Meepo being in a position where he's yeah. gonna get echoed poorly. I mean, for reference, he's got, what, 100? He's got 112 uh, in there with right. maths, no problem, on the OD, and our Meepo's way up there. He's at 91. So it's be like Sandy's does nothing to me. Yeah. Is the point we're at here with all these. Like, it's little bits of int all the way, but it's still a lot more than most heroes get, especially most Agit heroes, right? Yeah. Well, and now the one plus side of this, if your team's secret. You found place, a plus side. This I'm excited for. So oftentimes, you know, BKBs, they get countered by the Earthshaker because he's got that instant initiation. And now, speaking of which, he absorbed back behind. He can jump in if he wants to. Thinking about it, be sure to open up GH the Echo Slam. Is it quite going to be enough? They have the Ravage to try and turn it. We have so freaking low, but not looking quite low enough. They do manage to kill him off, but they lose the Earthshaker and the Io mid one. Falling low, the Hemp Stop in connects as well as they all getting torn apart. Nisha ended up buying back into this fight and Miracle trying to take him down. Is it going to oh, be quite man. enough? Yule Scepter left up at the very last second to keep Miracle alive. Puppy wanting to take down the mid from Liquid and he does die to the Maledict. Three gone. Zai the last one left alive but the buyback comes. They know there are buybacks coming from Secret. Jeez, Puppy played his heart on that fight. He actually did so much damage on the Witch Doctor. 4,798. He was only second to the OD. And now the jump forward looking for a bit more they've gone a bit too far though there's a fissure to open it up they find the rolling boulder stun I, forward and they can't do it again it's too much it's far too much weha taking a lot of damage he's the got 27 to work, but it's not quite there yapsor needs another fissure the chase forward looking for the finish and my man mid one with one last astral desperately oh. trying to hold on he's, he does manage to get the walk away again but the roots there turn around the bkb he's actually looking through this one mid one can he do it the right clicks coming through it's all too much damage and weha can just walk away again it is very cathartic to watch this io strat be defeated by a meepo with 30 hp regen i'm not gonna lie <laughs> I, they just don't have the damage if they don't have all of their tools available there's no way they're gonna kill them and so you just see this meepo living with the divine favor and i'm like you know what it's a little gross but i can live with that <laughs> if it's versus the io because that has been the bread and butter of this strat getting the io to that ridiculous agonist and then buffing someone up to a degree where they're just unkillable and right now, needing to come up with an answer to their own team secret. Liquid just going to run into the pit and try and finish off Roshan. In the meantime, Nisha can go for some split push plays with the relocate. But this is another Aegis and now Cheese on Liquid as they find Yapsor. The one hero that was supposed to be a solace for them, but is not as Miracle pops the BKB and it's just going to walk at them. Secret don't really have an answer as they chase forward. Find the splitter there. A quick jump in for the save coming from Nisha. As they get the fissure, the follow-up is there. A lot of damage onto Mind Control, who is starting to drop with that Maledict down. Might be enough for the Miracle. Also very full forward. They do manage to bring down the latch. It looks like MC will get out. Oh, Pearl's found. Okay, All another right. follow-up. They found themselves a fight without their Meepo. Perhaps a Liquid just a bit too ahead of themselves. They're going for some kills. Of course, they do also have plenty of time left on this Aegis and Cheese, and uh, you could even argue these guys are up there just ensuring that nothing was going to be interfering at the same time. So, not not the worst for Liquid. Still, obviously, a gargantuan lead, but it is some solace for, uh, for Secret to get a couple of kills here and know that they can bring down these heroes surrounding the Meepo. Well, and again, it, it, it was a buyback that came earlier from the Meepo where they didn't manage to get the other set of racks. So possibly a way that yeah. you could see a path to victory with Secret having all of their abilities up. But again, there's a tier one tower mid. It's, it's just so hard to keep the pressure on. And so you don't have to kill him four times. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay, he's passed off the cheese to Mind Control. So there you go. So Mind Control just making sure that he won't have any mana issues with the Sanities, I would uh, reckon is one of the big reasons for this. He's even got a mango now. Mind Control's got the big brain plays here. The watermelon, the mangoes, keeping a healthy diet for himself. Mm. And uh, there is a smoke here from GH2 as they push out the lane. So yeah, they're gonna pop that. Head towards the Dire Jungle. Let's see what they can do. Liquid, at this point in time, wanting to hit Secret where it hurts and see if they can get that second set of racks. Miracle in his uh, natural habitat here, lying in wait. <laughs> 
see if someone <laughs> wants to poke at this wave and give them the old Yules. Puppy walking around just cool as a cucumber. I would not be that cavalier with my movement if I was in this game, but... Well, the jump forward, and that's why Ravage connects onto all of them. They are going to be able to find the silence afterwards on his eye, so no hope for safe. GA comes out finally as they try and get a turnaround. Roll forward coming from GA to control the rest of the fight. The e -blade is there to make sure that none of the Meepos go down. Zai is control. Liquid still running forward. A buyback comes from the Witch Doctor. But with no OD, Liquid have a path towards victory here. Yeah. They're going to take down another set of racks. Get your IO strat out of my game. OD, oh my no God. buyback. Weeha, everything. Find it everywhere you want. An ultra kill for Weeha, who continues to just run ransack through this game. They're going to give him the rampage. No, stolen away by Miracle. He has to take one for himself this time around. As Liquid do not look face in the least bit. No buybacks on any of these heroes. So it is only Nisha and Yapsor left to defend. Tier 4 towers being assaulted. Ladies and gentlemen, stick a fork in him because at least for this game, Secret are looking done as GG is called. My God, that was dominant. Team Liquid. I can tell you, there is nothing we have want to do more, I'm sure, than play Meepo on this stage. <laughs> <laughs> brought back here again from the Shanghai Major. Last time he was up here and competing and finds himself a, another victory. Liquid remaining undefeated as they move throughout the lower bracket. I mean, that's really one of the craziest stories ever. Could you imagine <laughs> the run? You think back again to this team's TI7 run, and it was the same type of thing, being dropped down so early on in the bracket and making that amazing run, and here even more so.